I'm Elise and today I'm here to talk you through how to make your own pinch pleat curtains. Make your own curtains is a great way to save money and design a one of a kind feature that adds a personal touch to your room. To make your own curtains you'll need a sewing machine, a basic line will do the job just fine or you can hand sew with a needle and thread. If you can't sew you can use iron-on hemming tape as an alternative a metal measuring tape as a fabric line can stretch and distort your measurements, a metal ruler, sharp sewing scissors, a stitch on picker and pins, a grey lead pencil, an iron ironing board and washing machine. If you're making pinch pleat curtains, you'll also need pinch pleat tape and pinch pleat hooks. And of course, you'll need curtain fabric and some thread. We'll have more on how to choose your fabric in a moment. But no matter which fabric you choose, you should always follow the care instructions that you find on its tag in store. The first step is measuring your window. Check out our handy video on how to do this so you can get your measurements just right. The fabric you choose depends on the room you're sewing for and how much sewing experience you have and what style decor you like. If you're a beginner, medium weight fabric is easier to work with. Cotton is your best bet. Choose a weave that will give you a nice amount of weight and drape. If you're making curtains for your bedroom, choose a thicker material or one that's block out coated. If the room receives a lot of sunlight, choose neutral coloured materials so they look better if they fade over time. You can find fabrics in all different colours, patterns and textures to match your room style. Also, choose a thread in a colour that complements your fabric. Before you measure and cut your fabric, cut your pleat tape to the same width as your curtains. Then work out how many pleat hooks you need based on how many sliders or rings are on your track or pole. To ensure you get the right amount of fabric, double the width of your window so that the curtain appears full when it's on the rod. Then add 12 centimetres to the width of each panel you plan to make. This extra fabric will make up your side hems. If you have a wide window, you may have to attach a few panels together to cover the whole thing, so keep this in mind when measuring. The number of panels you need will be determined by how wide your fabric is when you cut the salvages off. To determine your curtain's height, measure your window's height and add 30 centimetres so that there is space to sew in top and bottom hems. Once you're happy with your measurements, cut your fabric using your sharp scissors or a rotary cutter. Then press your fabric with an iron to remove any wrinkles. Start by making the side hems. Fold the vertical edges over 3 cm and press. Then fold them over another 3 cm and press again. Then secure the hems in place with hemming tape or by sewing. If you're using hemming tape, place the tape between the folded face and the curtain front and iron it in place. Then, allow it to cool before moving on to the next steps. Always follow the ironing instructions the tape comes with. If you're sewing, sew down the edge to hold it in place. If you're using a thick fabric, you may want to pin it in place before you sew. Repeat this for the other side of the curtain. Starting about 6cm from one edge, insert your first pleat hook, inserting each prong into separate pockets. Measure the distance between each hook to ensure they are evenly spaced and check that this will cover your window once hung. Once you're happy with your measurements, cut your fabric to size using your sharp scissors or a rotary cutter. And once cut, press your fabric with an iron. Be sure to follow the care instructions on the fabric tag. Fold the top edge of the curtain down about 10 centimeters or the width of your pleat tape. Press. Fold it down again and press. If you're using hemming tape, place the tape between the folded face and the curtain front and iron in place. If you're sewing, sew down the edge to hold the hem in place. Be sure to sew across the side seams. Lay the pleat tape on top. Ensure the pockets are on the bottom edge and facing out. Attach with hemming tape or sew in place, being careful to not sew the pockets shut. Insert the pleat hooks and secure. Turn the curtain over. Pinch pleats are often gathered at the base. 
To do this, hand sew the pleats together, starting and finishing inside one of the pleats to hide the knots. The bottom hem is deeper than all the other hems, so your curtain drapes nicely. To work out how deep to sew the bottom hem, first check how your curtain hangs on the rod or track. Pull it straight and measure how much fabric is left over at the bottom. Write this number down. Then take the curtain down and fold the bottom edge up by half of the number you wrote down. Press it with an iron and then secure it with hemming tape or by sewing. If you're using hemming tape, put your tape in place and iron down. Then fold the same measurement again and repeat. If sewing, fold and press as before and sew in place. Be sure to tuck the corners under. Now your curtains are ready to hang. If you have any questions on how to make your curtains or the fabric you need, come in store and chat with one of our team members or visit us online at spotlightstores.com. <laughs>